Remington Park update is sponsored by the Thoroughbred Racing Association of Oklahoma. Welcome to another edition of the Remington Park Update. Coming up, we'll recap a pair of recent stakes races, plus preview the Silver Goblin, which tops this Friday's card and features some talented Oklahoma-bred veterans. Let's begin by looking at some newcomers in the E.L. Gaylord Memorial Stakes. Two-year-old fillies won six and a half furlongs in this one on October 23rd. $50,550 in the purse. Among the field of nine, the odds on favorite is number six, my master plan. Midway through the turn, Sahara has the lead. DRC's Pretty Sky outside. Inside, too much Prada. My Master Plan waiting for a path to run. Half mile goes at 44 and 3 fifths seconds. Top of the stretch, DRC's Pretty Sky emerges with the lead. Now My Master Plan has room and is rolling with a furlong to go. My Master Plan sweeps up and tries to get by and will get by DRC's Pretty Sky at the 16th. Coming on inside, another Bond girl running a big one for the second week straight. Fourth is Sahara. My master plan will win it by a length and a half. Undefeated at three for three with nothing but clear margins at the finish, My Master Plan sits close to a contested pace and reels them in through the stretch under Luis Quinones. A Texas bred daughter of Peter Pan winner Oratory and Fairplex Park Stakes winner 107. My Master Plan races for her breeder, Dan McHugh. Donnie Von Hemel is the trainer. Long shots, DRC's Pretty Sky, and another Bond girl ran second and third. The time, 1 minute 17.67 seconds. Donnie Von Hemel offers a direct link between My Master Plan and Clever Trevor, the first derby winner here in 1989. He trained both and appropriately had a contender in the Clever Trevor Stakes, which was contested earlier this month. The Clever Trevor matches two-year-olds at seven furlongs. The purse is $101,100. Von Hemel's pupil, sudden breaking news, is the four to one fourth choice. The favorite at seven to five is number one, Bravura, trained by Brett Calhoun. And Wentz has it by a head midway through the turn. Bravura still there second, coming along, valid decision. Texas Chrome is wide, wider still and rolling. Here comes Royal Lion. Way outside, but coming on as they pass the quarter pole, leaving the turn, Bravura takes over from Wentz. Bravura has it by a pair, slipping through traffic. Cash bonus now second. Royal Lion is third, and still coming on strongly at the furlong pole. Inside Bravura, cash bonus. Wentz, sudden breaking news, rallying as well. We'll have to split rivals at the 16th. Royal Lion, sudden breaking news, cash bonus. These three, as they battle all the way to the line, sudden breaking news got through. Patience by horse and rider pay off. Luis Quinones waits toward the back of the field, saves all sorts of ground with sudden breaking news, and then rallies late to win by a half length over Cash Bonus and Royal Lion. Now with two wins and two seconds and four starts, sudden breaking news is a Kentucky bred gelding by 2003 Horse of the Year Mine Shaft. Winning trainer Donnie Von Hemel entered mid-November, second on the meeting's money list among conditioners. Samuel Henderson is the owner. Final time, 124.01 seconds. Still to come, a preview of the Silver Goblin Stakes. Stay with us here on the Remington Park Update. More than 6,400 jobs are involved in the Oklahoma horse racing and racehorse breeding industries, but it doesn't stop at the racetrack or farm. From the stalls to house equine athletes, to the trailers that keep them on the road, workers throughout the state provide Oklahoma-made products and services to the racing industry. More from the Thoroughbred Racing Association of Oklahoma at TRAORacing.com. Oklahoma breds have played a major part in this season's stake schedule. What with Shotgun Cowboy winning the Grade 3 Oklahoma Derby, and of course Classics Night producing a number of top performances from state breds. Coming up on Friday, Oklahoma breds, a field of 11, will contest the Silver Goblin Stakes. And while on paper it looks like three horses dominate from the morning line, we're going to start our preview with a long shot, who's been very strong throughout much of this meeting, perfect to please. In 
fact, this Veronica Griggs trainee started the meeting with a game win over Oklahoma Reds in the Red Earth Stakes on the turf course. A pair of runner-up finishes in state bred stakes followed. His return to the main track on November 4th produced an uncharacteristic eighth place finish in Allowance Company. Perfect to please will try six and a half furlongs for the first time on Friday. He'll have post position 10 in jockey Brian McNeil. Z Rockstar, the seven to two third choice, is a versatile sort for trainer Donnie Von Hemel with both wins this year sprinting. Previously ridden by Luis Quinones, Z Rockstar will have the services of Ramon Vasquez on Friday as Quinones will be aboard morning line favorite Oki Rod. Z Rockstar has 13 career wins and earnings of more than $593,000. He drew the six hole. Three to one second favorite, I'm a hit, is another that can handle one turn or two and is no stranger to stakes competition. The two time Oklahoma Classics Cup winner has banked more than $470,000 for owner trainer C.R. Trout and has a second and two thirds in local stakes this meeting. Jareth Loveberry has the call from post position seven. Five to two morning line choice, Oki Ride is two for two in 2015, taking the Remington Park Turf Sprint in September and the Oklahoma Classics Sprint in October. The eight-year-old member of the Kenneth Nolan Stable ran second in the Silver Goblin last year, but won it in 2012 and 13. He's a 10-time stakes winner, with earnings of better than $653,000. Jockey Luis Quinones teams with him, they'll have post four. After the Silver Goblin, seven stakes are still to be run at the meeting. Let's take a look at the lineup, starting with the Don C. McNeil on November 27th. It's for two-year-olds bred in Oklahoma at one mile. The Don C. McNeil carries a purse of $75,000 guaranteed. Also on Black Friday is the Slideshow Stakes, matching state-bred two-year-old fillies at one mile for $75,000 guaranteed. The remaining stakes are on closing day, December 13th including the $50,000 You See It Stakes. Three-year-old Oklahoma bred fillies travel a mile in that one. Sophomores of either gender bred in the Sooner State will also run a mile in the Jim Thorpe, a $50,000 guaranteed race. The purse jumps to $100,000 guaranteed on the 13th for the She's All In Stakes, matching fillies and mares three and up at a mile and 70 yards. Also worth $100,000 guaranteed is the Trapeze, two-year-old fillies at one mile. The big one on closing day is the Remington Springboard Mile, matching two-year-olds for a $250,000 guaranteed purse. A reminder, while racing is normally conducted here at night, both the Black Friday and closing day programs will have 1.30 first post times. On our next edition of the Remington Park Update, we'll recap the recent stakes and look ahead to closing weekend. That Springboard Mile served as a showcase last year for the eventual graded winner, Shotgun Cowboy. That's all for this edition of the show. We thank you for joining us. On behalf of all of us at RaceView Network, happy Thanksgiving, and we'll catch you next time here on the Remington Park Update. Remington Park Update is sponsored by the Thoroughbred Racing Association of Oklahoma.